Welcome back to the John 4K Show, sponsored each week by Veterans Ford. Another one of our John 4K specials this week, our all new 2015 F-150, 24,495. Man, believe that, all new 2015 F-150, 24,495. Come on, man, come on down to Veterans Ford. Welcome back to the John Fourcade Show, sponsored each week by Veterans for John, we got to see the new age version of Earl Campbell when LSU <laughs> played Auburn. And man, all the hype behind it, Auburn defensive backs talking trash to LSU about how easy it was going to be to stop Leonard Fournette. And he was a one-man wrecking crew against them. And uh, we saw it early, the first play, Leonard Fournette takes off, and I thought he was going to score on this play. The guy got a pretty good angle on him downfield and was able to make the play, but uh, gets it all the way down to the three-yard line. What a talent. And then Brandon Harris. Now, listen, they got three guys looking as though they're trying to get uh, Barnett, and he runs it in. And then Brandon, and what that kind of version of the read option is, I guess, he takes off downfield, and he's made a lot of plays, John, with his feet. It's down to the 11-yard line. Well, there's no doubt about it. The man who uh, runs this operation is definitely Leonard Fournette uh, with Brandon Harris possibly being the guy they want to use as a, I guess you'd call it a running quarterback because he sure doesn't throw the football from the drop back standpoint. Yeah. If you watch what they did in this football game, Fournette right here, this, this is the play that, that, that amazes me. Uh, you know, this guy, <laughs> he's just blowing over people, but it's just the amazing ability of this runner. And, and, and less miles. But this, this is the play. play. This is the play. I, I, I'm trying to figure out what the guy from Auburn is trying to do right here. No, and Leonard, right after the game and, and doing some post-game coverage, Leonard told us he thought he was going to go low on him. So he bends down and actually flips him. And then yeah. here's a, a guy that I think is going to see quite a bit of action, and that's Darius Geis. I think they, they're going to give Leonard a little bit of rest uh, in some games. But Brandon Harris, again, taking off, running with the football, making some plays with his feet. John, the one thing about it, 45-21, that, you know, that, uh, that's not quite right there. Yeah. Uh, that, that was a Mississippi State-type uh, game. Right. But one of the things, the last two weeks, he has not thrown an interception. Right. So when you look at it, his percentage has been okay. He hasn't made a lot of plays in the passing game. Hasn't made the big mistake. Correct. And I think that was the part that drove Les up the wall last year, that when something wasn't there, he would try to take a chance. He's misfired on some shots, but what I like about him is his calmness, plays with a lot of poise, and he knows how to turn around and give the football to number seven. And that's the big key right there. How good are you to hand the ball off to number seven? And, Mike, I wanted to talk about real quickly. When they got the ball at the one-yard line on one play, when Williams got him down there after the turnover by the quarterback, LSU covers it and gets on it. They put Lynn, they put uh, Fournette in the game. Man, look, he his game over, was over with. Like, why would you do that? Then the kickoff return, they put him back there. Are you are you nuts? Are you listening here? Your best player, get him out of the game. The game's over with. You don't need him returning kickoffs. You don't need him going in and just to score another touchdown. He is your guy that possibly can win the Heisman Trophy and take your team where it wants to be this year. Now, with all that being said, talk about the quarterback scenario. Harris hasn't screwed up this year as of yet because why? They got him doing play action, rolling him out. Pretty much it's, it's either throw it here or you run it. And I think that's good for that. But what's going to happen when they're going to ask him 32 times, I want you to throw this football game because we're down. We have to come back. Can he do that, Mike? That's going to be the key because they got A&M, Alabama, Ole, Ole Miss. Miss with three pretty good defenses coming up right now at the end of the season. We'll see what happens. They get through that, LSU is going to be playing for a national championship. The other thing, too, is you know where you're playing this week. You're playing in New York, right? the Northeast media, which is going to have a big say on who wins the Heisman Trophy. And what was funny, I think Les is playing this right. Friday in the walkthrough, they blared it out. Frank Sinatra's New York, New York. <laughs> I mean, these guys understand what they have, you know, in their backfield. And I think, you know, look for this game. I think they're going to ride Leonard pretty good, too. Understanding this is New York, this is the Northeast, 11 o'clock football game, totally different than at night. Uh, I think we're going to see a bushel load of carries by Leonard Fournette again. What's all is going to help the fact that they're playing a team that's struggling offensively with their quarterback scenario. They have a lot of guys hurt in, in Syracuse's 
uh, team right now. In the dome, the carrier dome, so you have to worry about the elements up there. And you're right, they're going to feed it to, to Leonard Fournette, but the question is how much you're going to feed it to him. If you get past 30 carries, I think you're going to be abusing him because you don't need to have that many carries. He needs to stay in the 20s, mid-20s, because you've got two backup running backs that can handle it as well. When he gets his 250 yards at halftime, let him rest because in no sense embarrassing the team to come to second half because I think by halftime this will be out. Uh, out of reach, the LSU had this game in Jack, and Leonard Fournette will be solidifying the Heisman Trophy race. You know, one of the things is you brought up the Ole Miss, Alabama, and uh, listen, I didn't think Ole Miss could, could go in I there didn't. and beat them. Now, you, you picked Ole Miss in that football game, but uh, man, how poised Andy Kelly was in that game. Chad Kelly. Chad Kelly. Uh, when you looked at how Chad handled the pressure twice, mm -hmm. Alabama hit the accelerator, and you thought, oh, here we go. You know, you can see Alabama coming back. And he made a big play time after time again. Ole Miss's defense the last couple of years have played really, really mm -hmm. well. But, you know, with Bo, it was the good Bo, the bad Bo. Man, when you see with Chad Kelly, it was never about talent. Right. It was about off-the-field issues. And his rapport with the receivers have been terrific. But it's how he's handled pressure. I think that's what makes a great quarterback, how you handle pressure situation. I, I think when you look at it, Mike, the, the team itself, Ole Miss, is looking at this quarterback scenario they had this year compared to last year. It's like they didn't believe in Bo because they didn't know what Bo was going to do back there. They, they, they understand Chad. They understand what he brings to the team as a quarterback. He's played well. One dumb mistake caught, actually got him a touchdown. touchdown. He just threw it up for grabs off the guy's hands, off the guy's helmet, scored a touchdown. Uh, he got ripped off for that, but, but overall he's played well for the Rebels in the, in the three or four games that he's been in there with them. I really truly believe this is that the defense is going to carry this team because they still don't quite have the running game, but it's getting there. And just hang in there because this is a good Ole Miss football team. That, they got the same thing. They got A&M coming up, LSU coming up. They got uh, um, uh, Alabama. I mean, already played. They got um, uh, A&M, LSU, and Arkansas. That's three teams right there. You know, payback is what happens. But uh, I like Ole Miss's chances. And they got a defensive version of Leonard Fournette and Robert Camducci. Everybody was like last year. Well, he didn't make a lot of big plays. They try to block him this year. Mm -hmm. I mean, he has been a one-man wrecking crew up front for Ole Miss. We'll be back with more of the John 4K Show, sponsored each week by Veterans Ford.